Ma'am, you sure Roman can explain it again? Like, I got that. Yes, yes, I'll explain it again. But uh, I no problem. I'll explain it again. Don't worry. Okay, just a minute. Wait a minute. Then I think fifth one we have to do, no? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I will do the next one, like the second one. Okay. As well for you people, so that you people can have a look. So I think uh, this one we already did. So we will be starting with this one now. Let's just start. Everybody can see this. 180. So mm -hmm. first of all, whenever a question comes to you, it's like the find the smallest whole number by which it should be multiplied so that you get a perfect square. Okay. So first of all, you will do the prime factorization of 180. Okay. So 2, 9, 0, 2, 4, 5, 3, 1, Five. Okay, three, five, and sorry, five and one. Yes. So you got two multiply by two, multiply by three, multiply by three, multiply by five. Yes. I don't know what's wrong with my writing pad. Why? Let me just write it again. Oh, we will just write directly like 2 into 3 into 5. Like, why do we need no, 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 no. I'll, I'll write it here again because that was not clear. I think this is clear now, right? Everybody? Is it clear to everybody? Yes, ma'am. What I did the prime factorization? Yes. Yes. So the prime factorization was 2, 2, 3, 3, 5. So over here you don't have a pair of 5. So that means this 180, you will be multiplying with 5. Okay. So after multiplying this 180 with 5, you will get 900. Okay. You got 900. Clear? Yes okay. or no? So ma'am, if we find the... Uh, you got... The number without a pair, we have to multiply the number with the... Oh. Yes. Whatever pair is missing. Like, for example, over here, five. These have pair. These have pair. But five don't have any pair. So, you did this. Okay? Okay. Five uh, do this. No, no, no. What? After this, also, there is a process. Na? Wait. Yeah. So, you got 900. Now, this is what you have to find the square root of this now. Okay? To find square root, you have the method prime factorization. Yes? So, you can do the prime factorization of 900. But I would always suggest you never do the prime factorization of 900. The prime factorization of 900 would be all this, the same. But you will add one more 5 here. Okay. So, 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. You will add one more 5 here. Okay. So, over here 2 has a pair, 2 has a pair, 5 has a pair. So, 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. Okay. So, so once you solve this, 2, 3 is a 6, ma'am, 30. So this is your final answer. Okay. So I'm just reminding you people first. First, you have to find the LCM. Sorry, prime factorization. Okay. Okay. So first, what you have to do? PF, which is prime factorization. Clear? Second, whatever pair is missing. Okay. You will multiply that with the number. Okay. Once you got the number, right, then you will do the prime factor, the number which you got, you will do the prime factorization of that. But usually I don't ask my student to do prime factorization. Whatever prime factorization was here, just copy it here and just write the, just add one more, just write one more term which was missing. Like for example, 5 doesn't have a year, so write 5 here, like this. Okay? Uh, and then this will be your final answer. I hope I have made myself clear to everybody, all the steps. Okay. Yes? You people can copy it from here. Okay. And then you people will do the third, fourth, fifth and sixth.
uh, if there are like uh, two numbers which don't have pairs, mm -hmm. so we have to mm -hmm. multiply both the numbers. Yes, yeah, both the numbers. Okay, ma'am. You, you will multiply both the numbers. Those don't have a pair. all the numbers or only yes. one uh for sorry uh naisha you said something huh. hmm? any doubt asking if we had to solve everything yes you have to solve everything No doubt. Yes. What if there are two numbers which don't have a pair in the prime factorization? Yes. So you will multiply that with the both both the number. For example, three and five, both. Yes. Okay. So multiply both of them and then multiply yes. them with the original number. Yes. Fifteen. Then this fifteen you will multiply with one eight. Okay. okay.
Hmm. 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 Three into five, right? So after we multiply, it's like fifteen. So when we do the prime factorization again, do we have to multiply it as a I mean do you have to take it as a pair together or separate? Ah uh, no, ah uh, you will take a pair. Like for example, over here three was missing. For example, right? Yes. You will write three with three and five with five. Um. So yeah. So multiply three and five and then make it a pair. Uh no 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 no. You will put individually to that. Okay. Okay. Like for example, over here five was missing, so I wrote only five. But in case three is also missing, you will write three as well. Okay. Yes. yes. I have a question. Like, if that the number which does not have pair is in the middle, you have to like do it in the last, right? Yes. Yes. But for example, in this case, if three was also missing, right? Like for example, over here three is only three. So of course, only two has a pair. Three and five both are missing, right? So when you will write, you will multiply this one eighty with five and three. Okay, like five three is fifteen, and then fifteen multiplied by one eighty, you got the answer. Okay, and here when you will do the prime factorization as well, so you will write three as like three. If it is two into two into three into five into five, two into two. Okay. Into three. Hmm. Into five into five, so we should just keep it in this order. No need to change yes. it. Yes, yes, no need to change the order. Even when you put three, just adjust one more three here. Okay. Mm -hmm.
Any doubt? I'm done. Okay, everybody finished? No, ma'am. Okay, okay, I'll wait for two more minutes. Ronnie, you are in which question? On what? You are in which part of the question? Ma'am, I'm in this fifth question. Okay, okay, okay. Do it, do it. Actually, I have a doubt in two questions. Uh, sorry, Chakriga. I have a doubt, doubt in two questions, the fourth one and the sixth one. Okay, okay, okay. You are done with the rest? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. I'll do that. Okay. I have doubt in those questions. It's because, uh, ma'am, after you get 169, I don't know the further number in which you can divide it with. Like when you remove 169, the 169. Mm, mm, mm. 13, 13, the 169. 13 squared is 169. Okay. Chakrika, you had the same doubt? Mm -hmm. Then for the fourth one, what do you have it out? Uh, for the fourth one, I mean, sorry, for the last one, what's the I mean, for 71, what's the uh, number you can divide it with? The last sixth one? Yes, ma'am, 71. 71, but where you are getting 71? Ma'am, uh, 168 can be divided by 2. So after that, I got 384. Hmm. So, uh, 384 can be divided with 2 again. Hmm. 142. No, that's wrong. What? Well, I might have... Two ones are two. It's 18. So, 142 not 192. Yeah, we are discussing answers. She has a doubt only. No? That's why I just... Can I let me just divide it? Okay, Chakrika, in which, uh, like the fourth one you added out, what doubt you have in the fourth one? I did the front factorization wrong. Oh. So, 192, right? Ma'am, but, but I, I got confused in this. You are confused in? In the sixth question and the sixth question. Okay, okay. Everybody finished? And I think you have a doubt. Everyone who is still doing? Ma'am, can you hear? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, I'll wait, I'll wait. Uh, Gauri, you are still doing? Khadija, you are still doing? I'm finished. 
Okay, Gauri, you also finish? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. So uh, let's just wait for one more minute, then we'll discuss that. Okay, so let's just discuss the answer, students. I'll just erase this up. Okay, mm -hmm. yes. Okay, uh, second one I already did. For the third one, what you people got? Ronnie will tell me the third one. Ma? Hmm. Uh, for the third one, I got uh, 84. Yes. Everybody got 84? Yes, ma'am. For the third one, anyone who got a yes. different answer? Anyone? Gauri, Chakrika, Khadija, and Aisha? No, ma'am. No? no? Okay, good. Very good. Then for, I think, 2028. Ronnie, you had it out in this? Ma? Hmm? Uh, yes, ma'am. I had I had doubt in fourth, fifth, and sixth. Okay, so fourth one, where you have a doubt? Ma'am, in the part that I was doing the part. You are on mute. You are on mute. Ma'am, for the when you did okay, just a minute, just a minute, just give me one. Uh, just a minute, Ronnie, one minute, please. Okay, okay. Let's just start, students. Hmm. So, sorry for the disturbance. Okay, so 2028. Uh, yes. Ronnie, what are the prime factorization of 2028? Uh, first one, I, I, I divided it by 2 and I got 1,114. Hmm. 1,014, right? Yeah. Hmm. But then I, just, I had a problem with the which to divide it. Okay. So, let me do it. 2028. So two one zero one four, right? And then which table do you feel like? Two table again, you can divide it, right? Yes, two five is ten, right? And then you will put zero because then and sevens are fourteen. Clear? Most of the students do mistake here. What they basically do two ten the uh, two five is ten and two sevens are fourteen. They don't write zero. But remember one thing, student. Like for example, one zero one four. 2, 5 is 10. Don't know what's wrong with my writing. That's the mistake I did and then I realized. So 
I have to yes. do it again. So two fives are ten. Then you are bringing this one here, right? You are bringing it, but it is not divisible by two. So that's why you put zero, and then you bring fourteen, and then sevens are fourteen. Okay, so nobody should do the mistake. I think Roni, you did the mistake here only, na? This one. Hmm. And after that, yes. So in then three table, three ones are three. Right, three ones are three. Then four five twenty three six are eighteen nineteen twenty three nine are twenty seven. Right, then again yes. the twist table one sixty nine it is so thirteen table thirteen thirteen are one sixty nine square of thirteen is this and thirteen one. Right, so over here this has a pair, this has a pair. Three don't have a pair. So what you are going to do? Two zero two eight multiply by three. After multiplying it with three, what you will get? Six zero eight four. Right? Everybody? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Oh, ma'am, I got the wrong answer for the previous question. Anything else you people got? No, ma'am. For the previous question, I got the wrong answer. I didn't get it. The sixth, third one. No. Uh. Yes, ma'am. Third one, na? Solve the third one. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, so let me just finish this. So you got six zero eight four. So what will be the prime factorization of six zero eight four? It will be same. Two multiply by two multiply by three multiply by thirteen multiply by thirteen, right? So you will add what three? So you will add a three here. You can add it here or whatever you want. You can add it here as well. Now two has a pair. Three again has a pair and thirteen has a pair. So Two multiply by three multiply by thirteen. Yes. So after multiplying this, what do you got, Chakrika? You tell me. Oh, uh, I got the multiplication wrong, but then I think it will be seventy-eight. Yes, seventy-eight. Everybody got this. Khadija, Sindhu, Gauri. Yes. 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 Okay. So uh, those who did it wrong, quickly correct it. Then I'll do the third one. Okay, I'm just giving you one minute. Quickly correct it. I'll do all the parts because this is very very important question. I don't want you to be able to do the mistake. So I'm going to do all the questions for you. Okay. So quickly note it down. Ronnie, you're noting it. Yes, ma'am. You're noting this. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Rani, I think you are noting it. Okay, okay. Others also, those who did the mistake, kindly note it up.
यस चक्रिका आवर क्लास टिल टेन थर्टी टूडे वेन यू हैव एन एग्जाम चक्रिका मंडे ओके सो टुमारो आई कैन हैव अ क्लास विथ यू इन केस इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट ओके टुमारो हैव अ लाइक लिटिल बिट लाइक इजी शेड्यूल आई डोंट हैव अ टाइट शेड्यूल टुमारो Okay, I think everybody finished, right? Should I do the third one? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so tell me what is the third one? Got oh, my mistake. Okay, got the mistake. Okay. Ma'am. No. Now, uh, the fifth one. I'm fifth one. I think Ronnie has a doubt, right? Hmm. So, what is the question for the fifth one? One four five eight. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am. One four five eight. Okay, so let's just do the prime factorization here first. One four five eight. Hmm. So two seven, then two two, and then then Ronnie, you tell me. Ah, uh, mama, I uh, got a seven forty nine. Forty nine. Forty nine. Forty nine. Twenty nine. Okay, okay. Then and after this, then I try to multiply, dividing by three. Hmm. I what do you got? I, uh, I tried dividing by three, but I got the I got a decimal number somehow. Okay, let me just do it. I, I how you got decimal? Three two is a six. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Three two is a. Yes or no? Yes. Then three four is a twelve. Then uh -huh. nine. Then three three is a. No, I think I got the division wrong. हाँ, I think now you can solve it. Solve it now. Then 
Okay, you got the answer? Ronnie, you got the answer? Mom? You got the answer? No? Yeah, almost. Okay, okay, do it. Okay, now this uh this is the fifth one. Na? Sixth one, Khadija will tell me. Okay, Khadija? Fourth one, we got 54, right? Uh, sorry, fifth one, we got 54, right? Fifth one, yes. Sixth one, Khadija, you will tell me. Is it fine? Okay, okay. You can just type that then, Khadija. Okay, the answer. Titans answer. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, Naisha, just a Mom, the fifth one is it eighty four? I mean fifty four. Ma'am, sixth one we should say the answer, right? Uh, wait a minute. Okay, so for fifth one you got fifty four. Everybody, anyone who got something else? Yes. Okay, now the sixth one. Everybody will recheck your answer. Then we will discuss. Khadija, your answer is... I don't know what the answer is. Should I okay, take Okay, wait a minute. Just a minute. Okay, students, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay, so who will tell me the answer? Ma'am, can I? Hmm? Ma'am, is it 42? Is it 48? Yeah. Okay, everybody got 48. Ronnie, you, what you got for the sixth one? I think sixth one also you had a doubt, na? Just for ma'am. Was the handwriting I wrote? I didn't even understand. It was forty-eight. <laughs> so Sindhu's is not Sindhu's is not getting her handwriting only. So mm. okay. So let's just start, students, with the next. Like I'll just do this. Ronnie, have a look. I'm just doing this. Two, three, the six. Then two is a sixteen, and two fours are eight. Right, Ronnie? Yes, ma'am. And then. After this, again, two table. Uh, we, I'll, uh, then I'll divide, I divide it by two and then I got uh, 192. Okay. You got 192 there. That's correct. And then I got uh, 96. With two only? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Good. Then? Uh, ma'am, uh, then I, I got 
Uh, well, I'm still doing this one now. I was doing it still. Okay, okay, no problem. So I'm just doing it here. Have a look. So after two, two fours are eight, two eights are sixteen. Yes. This one. Then two two and then four. Then two one two. Yes. And then two six. Yes. This one. Then two, three, three, three. So and three, one. Yes, so over here, when you will find the pair, like I'm just writing here, two multiply by two, 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 multiply by three. So this is a pair, this is a pair, this is a pair, this is a pair, but this doesn't have a pair. So what you will do? Seven sixty eight multiply by three. Yes. Yes, mommy. So after multiplying it with thirty three, what you people got? A two thousand three hundred four. Yes. Right. So now, ma'am, what will be the factor of two three zero four? The uh, same. Uh, right. Two, so two multiply by two multiply by two multiply by two. Multiply by two multiply by two multiply by two multiply by two multiply by three multiply by three. Yes. yes um, at yes, last, then we can make pairs. So we'll mm -hmm. get uh, four twos and one three. Mm -hmm. So two multiply by two multiply by two multiply by two multiply by three. Right? So so after solving this, so you will get 48. Okay? So two twos are four. Two twos are four. Right? So four fours are 16. 16 multiply by three. 48. Okay, everybody got this 48 now? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, yes, ma so I hope this concept is very much clear. So in the next class, when we, when we will meet, of course, I'm just keeping this chapter slowly. Uh, but I hope you people understand that why it is important to understand this. So in the next class, it will be the same one. But instead of multiplying, what you will do, you will do the division. Okay.